I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay, so I found a little, I found a little e exit escape. So I'm mm. gonna get the fuck out of here because oh shit, but I can't mm. go back. Yeah. Ah, uh, should I? Should I? Should you, I? You fight your way through? Y yeah. Hell yeah, you should. Should I? Yeah. D I mean. Your dad's watching this, so I mean, well, he's well, gonna have well, to be the one who's like, "Did I raise a pussy?" <laughs> <laughs> Son, it's okay if you're a pussy. I'll yeah. just think a lot less of you. Yeah, I mean, nothing I didn't know before. <laughs> anyway, uh, Dad, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that, ooh, ow, that, ooh, ow, ooh, stop. That is creepy the way they move. Oh yeah, they're very like, yeah, they're very floppy. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find. I'm a little snowman walking in the snow. Something yeah. about like your walk cycle going downhill. Oh, okay. It's like just this guy going down. Wrestling, resting yeah, to a step. No, there we go. <laughs> Wee! Oh, need a little push. Yeah. Oh, oh be need careful. A little push. Bye. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you can take out. You can take out that one by himself, right? That one. Uh, I'd have to drop down, oh. and then I wouldn't be up here anymore. That is a solid point. Mm-hmm. Almost the very definition of down. Where am I now? Am I- Ah, ooh. the Liberty Bell. Right Whoa! Oh! <laughs> ah, spear! Ding fucking mm. dong. Huh, it's a friend. Is it a friend? What happened with this bell? When was this bell? Maybe it's from an old game and I don't recognize it. Oh, it could be. I don't know. That stuff happens in this game all the time. They keep trying to cash in on that, that fucking nest or <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> do you think the ex uh, well, it'll already be out by this time, but do you think the Assassin's Creed movie is going to be good? No. No. Like, <laughs> like not, not even a chance. No. I mean, I like Michael Fassbender, but Michael yeah. Fassbender likes money. Mm. So, what if I really want it to be good? Will that make any difference? <laughs> Still fucking didn't happen with Ghostbusters. Mm. Didn't happen with every other movie yeah, <laughs> in Prometheus the world. Ah, and... uh, Prometheus, yeah. I <sighs> wanted it so bad. Me too. Prometheus uh, had plenty of, like, cool parts in it. That, you know, that's the thing. That is the thing mm -hmm. that always... And I fully believe in it, because... I will watch Prometheus again, and I'll probably watch it again after that. Mm -hmm. Because there's so much to like about that movie. Yeah. It's like a good movie wrapped up in kind of a shitty movie sometimes. Yeah. So... Oh, I only need 4,000, huh? Uh, okay. Um, so, so I feel the same way about, like, Tron Legacy. Mm. I've seen that movie maybe like six times. Whoa. And it's not great. It's, it's good, I guess. Um, but like... There's just so much about it I like. Hmm. So, I'll, I'll fucking watch it. Like, yeah. And, and it, Tons of movies like that. Tons of movies. And I hate the Batman trilogy. The fucking Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy. Why? It's awesome. I- The first one is pretty good. The second one, I think, is like- Phenomenal. The, well, everyone says that, but I think it's like- uh, all right. I cast my lot with everyone. <laughs> and the third one is just garbage. It's just hilarious it's and just fun. It's just hot garbage. But I love watching all of them because of how much I don't like them. Interesting. It's like- it's like playing Sonic for me. Wow. Yeah, you do like hating things. Like, like, but it's like- I don't know, I- I just- I find the joy in... It's just fun for me to- to like... Rip on shit? Yeah. Yeah. And I, and no I kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I made a whole show out of it. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I guess that's the end of my statement. Yeah. Like, I just- sometimes I- I just- it gives me, like, it, it fills me with energy to get, I don't know, like, grumpy about, like, things like games. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe- uh, maybe I'll parlay that into something at some point. What other- whatever- like, Pacific Rim, I don't think is that great. Oh, I love that movie. But I love it! I fucking love it, too! It's fucking... It's it, fun as hell! Except I think it is that great. I- like, it's a little boring. Oh. Right. There's- there's parts that are, like, super uncompelling, the characters are kind of flat. What- 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 what part was super boring? Was it where the kick-ass robots have a, an amazing, well, awesome robot Well, okay, fight? so that's the thing. The, the- the movie is totally at odds with itself. Like, it has- it has that shit that's totally fucking over-the-top, gratuitous, awesome, 
like, the visual effects guys have gone on record saying, like, I wanted this movie to be the best movie ever. Nothing, I worked so hard on it. Nothing brings me down like a kick-ass soundtrack and super amazing special effects. <laughs> Fucking super bummer. <laughs> but... The, the character shit was really fucking flat and lame. I can't remember the character. Exactly! Yeah. You get, you got fucking... I mean, I remember they were, like, countries. Like, they, yeah. they were from different countries. They, they, they weren't... They, there was that whole... The countries thing would have been fucking great. Like, they could have had the Russians, and they're all like, You know, we're the Russians, and blah, blah, and they have, the, they have their thing, and... The Chinese guys have their thing, and it, it could have been like a fucking like the oh, warriors. Oh god, there's two of these things. No, there's three of them. What? Yeah, there's the huge one. Can you throw? These aren't the huge ones. No, Whoa. Is, these are the small ones. God damn. Um, can, can you kill these guys? Yeah, I could. Ah, oh. Skyrim motherfucker. Can you throw stuff at them, maybe? Woo! Ooh, that, Woo! That's Woo! Right. <laughs> um. So, so oh, that, that's no. that's all I'm saying. Like the humanity of the movie was just fell completely flat. It's a movie about giant robots. I know, <laughs> but every movie is about humans. It's about the people f piloting the giant robots. I fucking guess, but <laughs> I definitely didn't go into Pacific Rim being like, I wonder what the love story is. It's not. I'm not. That, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about fucking. What's a what's a good example? Uh, the Notebook? Like, what's like a really good, like, 80s sci-fi or something? The Notebook? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! A really good 80s sci-fi would be Goonies, or E.T., or Close Encounters of Third Kind, or... That's what I'm, like, really familiar with, though. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um... Fuck. I'm fucked. I can't do this. I ran out of Astus flasks. Yeah, these guys are too hard. You gotta fight two at once, too. That's really what the problem is. And then I gotta fight a third one. At once. <laughs> I have to fight him at once! <laughs> Whoa! We didn't expect that part. Time to go. Whoa, oof. I'm outie. Ah! Well, well now I gotta go. Whole back dimension. There. Um. Well, you did very little damage to them. Uh. But there's there, there's always an arc. There's always a theme. There's always a, a character growth element, you know. Even if it's like if it's like Alien, there's like a slasher. But there's still an arc for Ridley. Classic you know? '80s sci-fi movies. Um, same with like RoboCop. Like RoboCop is oh. really gratuitous. Blade Runner. Over the top. Blade Runner. Oh, yep. that's a perfect example. Yep. There's so much humanity in that movie. True. But. It's also a fucking movie that's awesome and sci-fi and has all these fucking cool, like, noir, you know, uh, indulgent parts to it, you know? Yep. Like, th that's... The core of the movie is what makes it great. If Blade Runner didn't have those elements, it wouldn't have been a classic. I don't think. Mm. Um, and that's why Pacific Rim isn't a classic. Wow, Brazil was a sci-fi movie? I didn't know that. I've heard that name my whole life. I've never seen it. That's a Terry Gilliam movie, I think. <sighs> yeah. Um, god, the 80s did have some good shit. The Thing, Predator, Star Trek II, Wrath of Khan, Tron, The Fly, The Last Starfighter, oh, Enemy Mine. The Fly, The Fly's a great example, yep. too. That's totally a human movie, like... Do you lose all your souls? Yeah. You silly goose. No, whatever. It's, it's a movie that's about this guy's obsession. Right. Um, and then it, it, it turns him into a monster. Robocop. Aliens. Yeah, Robocop. It's a fucking movie about it. He dies and it's, it's, it's about fucking bureaucracy gone wrong and, and the corruption of police and how it affects this fucking poor guy's life and him like trying to get it back, but he's, it's, he's just been mangled so much by this horrible society. Right. Like, it's fucking it's a great film. The brother from another planet? But yeah, that's a great movie. What? That's the I... guy, uh, that's the guy who plays Miles Dyson in, um, Oh! In Terminator 2. I've never heard of this. Yeah. It's oh my god, it's it totally old. is him. <laughs> it's what? It's old. It's like 70s, it, I think. No, 84. 84, damn. That's a- that's a real weird- it's very slow. Uh-huh. Um, it doesn't feel like... It, it doesn't feel like of its time, I think. That's very... interesting. I didn't know that existed. What's uh, that guy doing now? I don't know. Probably retired. I wanna party with him. <laughs> Miles Dice. 
right? Um, <clears throat> but that, that's what I'm saying. Those the RoboCop is a classic because of that. Like you know, like if it if, if it were just him being like you know don't move creep, it, it'd just kind of be like all right whatever. That's that's why movies that try to do what those movies do end up sucking because they don't have they don't have a good the story. Heart. They don't yeah exactly. They don't have a fucking they don't have an arc. They don't have a heart. They don't have a, a story. It's not about something. A heart. But those those movies are about something. Yeah, so that's yeah. what I'm saying. You need the art, the arc, the heart, and the fart. <laughs> that's what I'm saying about Everybody Pacific Rim. That. Pacific Rim tried to be about something, but it, it ultimately wasn't. It was about the rim. Because the of the Pacific. Something about modern screenwriting, I don't think is, I think is a huge problem, at least for me, is that like it, <sighs> too much reliance on special effects. They try to- they, they follow this formula, but they don't do it with, like, character stuff. They do it with just the beats of the story. So, like, it has to have this part, and then a low point, and then a fucking climax, and this shit has to resolve. Probably studio involvement. So, yeah, maybe. Um, but, like, that movie wasn't leading up to, like, a catharsis or anything. It was just kind of like, there were monsters and then they won. Which is fine. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm saying I like that movie, but yeah. that that's why it's not a fucking classic. It's, be, it's because there wasn't like, you don't remember the main character, you don't remember these other characters that could have been fucking. Oh man, the fucking Russians! Like they were amazing. Like they weren't amazing. Mm. They showed up and they had cool costumes. Yeah. Still have that song. Yeah. And I like the porn it spawned, uh, Pacific Rim Job. I actually don't know if that was a porn, but it should be, and it probably was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next time on Game Grumps. Next time on Game Grumps. We'll see you then, everybody. Woo! Woo! Ah, please stop. Please stop. I'm begging you. No, 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 no. I'm begging you.